10 years ago, Gay and Woody Turner saw their first son, Blake, come to St. Leo to be a student and an athlete on the baseball team. Five years later, Chase came to St. Leo to be a baseball player as well. Shortly after, they decided they'd start giving in what now is the 1820 Endowment Scholarship Fund. Earlier today, I sat down and talked with Gay and Woody to figure out how they came up with the idea, the name, and why St. Leo in the baseball program. What made you guys come up with the idea during their playing time? Well, for one, Gay and I love baseball uh, in general. And we wanted to, um, you know, participate in the St. Leo program and support our boys. While at the same time, we wanted to support their teammates as well. Um, early on, uh, during the process, you know, we, we made our contributions on an anonymous basis. And we worked with uh, Fran Reedy and Don Parisi uh, to kind of coordinate that. And the reason that we wanted to make the contributions on an anonymous basis is we didn't want anyone to misinterpret those contributions. Uh, but it was important to us that, uh, you know, we support the program and our boys as well as the uh, players in general. What made you guys come up with the idea uh, of the gift during their playing time? Sure. Well, St. Leo has been a huge part of our lives uh, for the last nine years. Um, our oldest son, Blake, graduated in 2013 uh, and Chase in 2018. And, uh, you know, we've been watching these guys play for the last four years and uh, it was tough for us to just walk away from that and, and uh, not continue to support them. Uh, so we felt that was important to, to continue to do that. You know, one of the stipulations with our contributions was that we wanted to make sure that all of the boys you know, benefited from uh, the, the contributions. You know, for example, we wanted to make sure that um, they needed new jerseys, <clears throat> they could uh, purchase new jerseys, or if they needed uh, pre-game batting gear or new equipment, or maybe just a better meal, you know, while they were traveling. But we wanted all the boys to, to uh, benefit from those contributions. The other thing is that not only have we been active with the baseball program, <clears throat> but Gay and I have also been involved in the university itself. Um, we were involved in the Parents uh, Council, uh, as well as currently um, through the uh, President's Council. Uh, so we, we, the university as a whole is very important to us. Just kind of walk us through how you came up with the plan. Well, you know, we know the team has uh, current needs today. Um, and, and we really wanted to continue to um, make the contributions uh, so that the team could take advantage of the things that they need today. But we also, in talking about it, um, we, we wanted to look at a way to impact the program long term. So with that, uh, we came up with the idea to make a present contribution that the team can benefit from today, and then ongoing contributions that would uh, benefit the team going forward. So what we've decided to do is over the next five years is to make a uh, contribution directly to the team uh, anywhere from three to five thousand dollars a year for the next five years and then also to uh, create an endowment uh, that would be for the purpose of uh, generating scholarship money for uh, some athletes, some of the athletes and that contribution over the next five years would be somewhere between ten and fifteen thousand dollars per year. Um, it's not our intent or our expectations that every parent will be able to com contribute that amount of money every year. It, it's just, it's our goal to just get this thing stimulated and get people thinking about it to support the program that their son is involved in. So that was really the catalyst for us wanting to not only make the present day contribution so that Coach Odette can get uniforms or meals or whatnot, but also to create this long-term endowment that, that many people will be able to contribute to, whether it's $100 a year or $50 a year or, or whatever, just so that they can begin to support their kids as well in this program. Because it takes a concerted effort over a long period of time to get things rolling. And if we can get that started so that other people can say, you know what, I can do that. And that was really our goal. Uh, what made you guys come up with the name for the endowment? Sure. Well, it's kind of simple. Um, Blake's jersey number was 18 uh, and uh, Chase's was 20. So hence the 1820 uh, endowment scholarship fund. You know, one of the other reasons too that we wanted to do this was also to reward our boys 
for the efforts that they put forth both on this baseball field as well as in the classroom. You know, they worked hard and uh, we wanted to um, kind of convey uh, our gratitude for what they had done. Also, the other thing that was important to Gay and I is that uh, we, we wanted to set kind of a, um, a positive environment uh, for them to kind of show them how important it is to give back. And this was a way we could do that. And long after Gay and I are gone, uh, Blake and Chase can continue to uh, contribute to their university through the 1820 Endowment Fund. What is it about the baseball program in St. Leo that made you want to continue to show your support? Well, you know, I think now more than ever, uh, St. Leo University uh, is in a position to uh, really take a run to the top of the Sunshine State Conference. You know, with Coach Rick Odette uh, and his staff uh, at the helm, you know, they're the real deal. And we believe uh, that uh, there's a great opportunity for this program really to soar. Uh, and Gay and I, quite frankly, wanted to be a part of that. And one of the ways that we could be a part of it is to support the team financially. And that was important to us. Parentally, for us, our kids coming on campus, we knew that they would be in a good position with the smaller class sizes. Um, I think that the ratio is what, like 14 to 1 mm -hmm. with the instructor to student ratio, that they would be able to have specialized instruction if they needed it. And this is just a homey, welcoming place for them to get their higher education. We knew that when we dropped them off here that they were in good hands. Um, now with Dr. Sinise being uh, our new president, we feel like now more than ever he has is positioning the university to be an even better um, contender or selection for students that may have decided that they wanted to go somewhere else. They may now start to consider St. Leo University. Absolutely. And I think another key point too um, is that you know, Coach Odette uh, will absolutely hold your student athlete accountable for their performance in the classroom. And that's important. You know, they're here, yes, to play baseball, but more importantly, they're here to get an education. As well, uh, the faculty is, is going to hold them accountable also. Um, you know, as Gay mentioned, with the small class sizes, uh, you know, these, these instructors and professors, they know these young men, and they want to see them succeed. Uh, so I think that's a, a, a critical part of this overall process. You know, when we look at this university in the nine years that we've been here and knowing what we it know. It actually has been 10 years ago since Blake started. That's true. That, that, that's absolutely true. And, you know, knowing what we know uh, and what Dr. Sinise has planned for the university, you know, I couldn't think of any better scenario uh, in any better place for uh, your student athlete to come to both get an education and compete in a in an outstanding baseball program in the Sunshine State Conference. I hung out with Blake and Chase to ask them what it meant for their family to support the team during their playing times. It's cool, you know, we've been involved with this program for a while now, and it's just cool that, you know, my parents are still feel connected enough to the university to be able to step forward and make, you know, a contribution. I think it's an honor just for, that's something of our legacy that can live on, you know, people for, won't really remember the things that we do on the field, but hopefully this can be something that can carry on for uh, time to come. We caught up with head coach Rick Odette to see what it means to have family support for the baseball program. Well, I think the, the biggest thing for our program is to see people like them who support you know, us on and off the field. No matter if it's they're in the stands, their family comes, uh, they were people that were around every game. We saw them on the weekends. Uh, it was such a great support to see our guys you know, interact with them and their family and other families as well. But it's a huge, you know, really a, a, a huge step for us. And the bar has, you know, des definitely been elevated from a standpoint. They want to see our program get to the highest level. And with their support and people like them, I feel like we're in a really good spot. To make a donation, visit your.stleo.edu backslash give. Select other, type 1820 endowment scholarship, or the baseball program. Thank you, go Lions.